Welcome to the wonderful world of travel. I'm John Haggins, the Globetrotter. I'm here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and we're here for the 24th annual International Film Festival. It's where everybody comes and they show off their great films. It's a cinematic explosion. It's an orgasmic expression. It's wonderful. I love it. And the culinary experience here is fantastic. This park is back to nature. You will love it. So stay tuned within the next few minutes and you're going to see the treasures of Edmonton. Uh, this is the first uh, outdoor adventure on Segways uh, in uh, Western Canada, here in our park. And it's a, yeah, it's a beautiful park. It's really new. Uh, it's a new park that we're at today. And uh, this is part of the Trans-Canada Trail, which will be one of the largest trail systems in the world when it's completed. It's over 21,500 kilometers. Fantastic. Yeah. You own the business. I do. I'm the owner, of the, one of the owners of the business. Myself and my wife own the business. And uh, it's really a fun business. I, I make people smile all day. And, oh, of course. And uh, I'm born and raised in the city of Edmonton here, and uh, it's, a, it's a great way for us to get out and explore our city. I mean, we do have the big mall in the city, but this is really the jewel of our city. Is back to nature. That's right, back to nature, and, and it's a really nice way to enjoy nature. I mean, on our trail system, we're very fortunate. A lot of people bike and rollerblade in that, and I do that as well, but this is a different way to see it because uh, you're not exerting any injury, you're not... Uh, you're not you know, putting out any pollution, you're just able to ride along and really enjoy it. I, I was just fortunate to see a bald eagle flying overhead here. So, Unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, um, our river valley here, the, this river, the North Saskatchewan River, actually runs all the way up from Jasper, uh, from the watershed up the Columbia ice fields there, right. and comes all the way down here. So uh, some of the animals that have been seen in the river valley, you'll see deer, moose, elk, bear. Uh, bear. We had a bear in the river valley, a black bear. Uh, about a month ago, there was a black bear spot in the River Valley because they don't know any different. No. They don't know they're in the no. city. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> That's right. It's just you in know, the What's so great is the fact that you've got the cosmopolitan city and this great park, which really is very inviting because it really is a place where you can come and relax. Mm -hmm. You know, because you have so much tension from work. That's right. And here, this is stressless. Oh, for sure. And I think that that really is what people need. Oh, for know, sure. Uh, especially people in a cosmopolitan, metropolitan area yeah. uh, where there is so much stress. So many people are so concerned about work that's as right opposed to the pleasure of this well and you'll see actually in about uh, in about a half an hour you'll see a lot of the downtown core of people come down here during the lunch break just to have lunch sit by the river uh, you know we have the Edmonton Queen river boat across the river there and people go out and cruise along the river first time I've walked across this bridge usually I'm on a Segway but uh, it's uh, such a beautiful area and every one of the different animal statues that you see are represented by the Chinese New Year. So I myself am uh, the year of the ox, and uh, my wife says that that's uh, that's very suited for me. So it's just a uh, just a great park. And you see, in the city of Edmonton here, we're very fortunate at this time of the year to enjoy such rich colors with the yellows and the reds. And this Louise McKinney Riverfront Park actually has two parts of our celebrating our culture in Edmonton. One is our strong Chinese community and the other is the strong Ukrainian community represented by the Shrumka stage up there. This is just a beautiful garden though. It's really nice. It has a rose garden in here and uh, it's just a great thing for everyone to see and enjoy. I'm John Haggins. I'm here in Edmonton, and this is what they call Alberta, Canada. And what I love is this fantastic park where you can hear the whispers of life. You know, the city is really filled with lots of recreation, such as the film festival. It's the 24th, and it's so exciting because we didn't know about this. This is the first time coming up, but it won't be the last. Here we are on the uh, bridge that is uh, crossing over the North Saskatchewan River. And the North Saskatchewan River, as I said, comes from the Columbia Ice Fields. And this is actually part of, uh, well, this isn't part of, this is how our city was formed, is this was a major trade route for the fur trade for the Hudson Bay Company. So very vibrant community. Uh, back in the day, all the steamboats would come down here and the canoes and the native Canadians would come down in, in this area. And it's just a, a beautiful area. Uh, it was also a very big uh, gold mining community here and people still mine for gold, pan for gold in the river. I know uh, I had a customer out here who said he'd be, uh, he has a friend that comes out here and he, every time he comes out he gets about $500 in gold when he does the mining out here. So it's kind of neat 
and uh, just a beautiful bridge. It's got the city background and all the park and everything here. I'm Shirley Lowe I'm with the Old Strathcona Business Association. We are a business revitalization zone and uh, we're here to ensure the vibrancy and the ongoing sustainability of this community. Uh, it is one of the most vibrant communities. It was actually listed as one of the top 10 communities or neighborhoods in Canada. And uh, it has everything for it. There are layers and layers. You can spend all day here just sort of peeling the layers from the farmer's market in the morning to lunch and dinner and shopping, local shopping and uh, at people watching, theater, nightclubs, it's all here. We are divided by a very deep and, and very beautiful river valley. So uh, Old Strathcona is on the, the south side of, uh, of the river and um, immediately across from, from the downtown of, of Edmonton. What we have here is uh, all the uh, remnant municipal buildings that once belonged to the city of Strathcona that have now been converted into wonderful art spaces. The theatre community in Edmonton is very vibrant. In Old Strathcona, this is the theatre district. There are nine live theatre companies that operate out of here year-round. Old Strathcona is an arts community. Not only do we have this vibrant theatre sector, but we also have a lot of live music, one of the best blues clubs in North America. This year we had 320 artists uh, for an entire weekend all over the all over the sidewalks in this area. It constantly, this is uh, this creative community produces festivals not only in the summer but also in the winter. We have a, an ice sculpting, an international ice sculpting festival in the third week of January. We have an entertainment district. We have a local. Uh, retail district, lots of Canadian and local made product that comes out of here. There are a large number of, of Canadians working in, um, in the U.S. Uh, theatre, uh, movie and um, uh, television industry uh, that, uh, that have honed their skills in areas just like this. Uh, Nathan Fillion, who plays Castle in, in the TV series, was actually an improv actor that, operate, that uh, learned and honed his craft across the street here. So Edmonton uh, boasts the uh, uh, largest live theatre community per capita uh, in Canada. What a fun mess I got myself into this time. Welcome to Wild Tangerine. My name is Wilson Wu. We have future Asian fusion cuisine. We create uh, exciting dishes to feature local ingredients and indigenous uh, components on the dish, such as bison short rib, um, the shrimp lollipop, which is East Meat West, also is the best appetizer in Canada. Ginger infused bread pudding with coconut ice cream. Is it excited? I think so. And also we have a really excited new creme camel just come up right now is goat milk creme camel, which is a low fat, high nutritious value. Thanks, Julie. Let me introduce the soul of this restaurant, which is Judy Wu, as 2007 gold medal play champion in Canada. Um, Judy, join me. Um, so we are going to introduce a few dishes here. Let's start with the shrimp lollipop. Uh, it looks really fun, um, inspired from my children to play with the lollipop. So we just using a shrimps on stick concept, make it a really uh, moving, touching um, appetizer for everybody, for all ages actually. Because <laughs> when you taste it, as an adult, they, when they taste it, they feel like nine years old again. Um, this is the um, really nice, uh, successful uh, one-ton appetizer. Interior have um, a duck confit and the Alberta wild chantel mushrooms, uh, served with the pineapple hickam salad, uh, with the uh, really nice uh, fresh mango deep. Uh, this is the the technique is really unique because make everything fresh because the whole exercise is when the customer order then we make make to order one ton is the best one ton on this planet 